Good evening, Kelly Kid Ads, to another amazing video. So today we've got a bit of a surprise video for you all. We're going to be meeting up in a secret location, Coventry City uh, player Don Bahiam. So we're on the way now, and even though he's had a couple of days off from work, he's agreed to let me interview him for my channel. So I just want to say a thank you to him. Okay, so now we're here in the mystery location and um, Dom is right next to me. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's start off with, when did you start playing football for a team? Um, I think I must have been when I was about five years old. Um, so yeah, about 20 years now. Uh, so I think it was for my local team, Carton Colts. So um, I think the, the youngest you can sort of play is seven years old, but I was playing two years above my level, so I was just so desperate to play football and uh, I just had to be in a team and I think the youngest age group I could join was under seven, so I was a five-year-old playing with seven-year-old, so uh, yeah, probably about five years old, five or six years old. Well, that kind of leads on to um, question number two. When did you join the club? I joined Coventry um, in May 2017, so I think just when they got relegated to League Two. Um, so yeah, I've been there nearly three years now. Yeah, obviously left Reading when I was 21 after being there for nine years. And um, yeah, Coventry was sort of my next big chance opportunity. And um, yeah, three years nearly I've been there now. So yeah. Um, I like to think so, yeah. Um, it took me a little, little bit of time to get going. Um, I was in and out of the team and uh, I didn't really play that much as of what I wanted to in the first year. And um, I'd like to think now that I'm pretty much settled sort of member of the squad so I've played quite a lot of games now so okay so what has been your best moment so far Coventry um, I'd, I'd probably say just one that stands out is just have to be the Wembley final you know the, lead, the season we got promoted I think just to have I think 45,000 Coventry fans there to share that moment with us and uh, all my friends and family and uh, I think that just stands out so much I couldn't really think of anything else other than that it's just such a great day and uh, one that I'll, I'll think about for forever. What's the, what was the atmosphere like when you were the uh, It was unbelievable. I think when the first goal went in, the roar from the fans was so loud, almost like giving, giving me a shock, like a bit of scare. And uh, yeah, it was just a, a really unbelievable atmosphere. One you couldn't really like talk about, you couldn't really describe, you know. And uh, just that noise that they make, it was so loud. And, uh, it was a really, really good day. Did you, did you enjoy that? Yeah, you were there, yeah. yeah. You were. Nice. Um, what's the gaffer really like? What's he really like? Ooh, I hope he doesn't watch this. But, uh, <laughs> but no, he's good. Um, he's, um, he's been good with me. I know that for myself, so I, couldn't, I can't speak for everyone. But um, yeah, he's been really good for me. He's, he's, he's been patient with me. The first year I was here, I wasn't. I was still quite young, you know. I was, I was quite inexperienced, and um, he always had that trust in me that I was going to perform. And um, yeah, I'd like to think I've sort of repaid his trust and um, yeah, he's been really good for me and he's always there to have a conversation with and um, yeah, I think he's been really good for me. Who's your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate? Uh, what did you just say, Ben Wilson, just because he's just he's just like a kid. He's just, he, he's, well, he must be about 26, 27, but he, he, he acts like a five-year-old. Just because some of the jokes he makes and some of the, he's always up for something. And, um, and if he's quiet, he's, he's, he's planning something, you know what I mean? He's, <laughs> he's planning something, some sort of trick, trick or joke, so I'm pretty sad. If you could be another player, who would be? What, for Coventry or in general, or anyone ever? Anyone, and why? I'd probably be Messi, <laughs> just because he's probably the best player in the world. And um, he's so talented, and I think he makes everything he does look easy. Well, who's better, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi, yeah, I'd say, um, just because he's, he just makes everything look so easy. I know Ronaldo does as well, but I just think Messi's just got that little bit more. I don't know, what about you? What do you think? You I think, think Messi? Messi. Think Messi? Like he's, too young. he's a bit younger, isn't he? He, he can still he's, he can still do it for a bit more, can't he? Ronaldo's pretty much retired now, isn't he? So. <laughs> um, what's your training schedule? Um, so training schedule, it all sort of works around the games we play. So say if we have a game on a Tuesday night, we train Monday and then have Tuesday off until the game, obviously. 
like if we didn't have a Tuesday game, we'd train Tuesday. Um, normally, a Wednesday is an off day, so regardless if we have a game or not. Um, Thursday train, Friday train, then game Saturday. So, <laughs> train a lot, don't we? <laughs> no, I've even said this to my dad. By the time you started playing, the 90 minutes, yeah. I would have to come up. Yeah. Your warm-ups are like... I know, the warm-ups are long. <laughs> That's the whole idea. By the time we finish the warm-up, we're like... So out of breath, but um, you're used to it now. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see Cobb finishing this year? Uh, I think we've got a good chance to get promoted. I think it's in our hands, you know, we've got a few games in hand on the teams around us. Um, as important as it is to sort of focus on ourselves rather than the other team, we can't help but look at the table, you know. And uh, I think we've got a, a really good chance to get promoted. What about you? What do you think? We've I think we'll go up. Really, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd take that, yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, what other position would you like to play and why? Um, good question. I think, I think I'd like to play a striker. Obviously, I don't think I'm as good as a striker as a defender, obviously. That's why I play defence. But I think goal scorers are sort of... They get a lot of the attention, you know? Because, obviously, they... they win your games and get your points, you know, so I think if I could be anything else, I'd probably be a striker. But you, do you play, do you play any positions? I play left wing. Left wing, yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. Um, what other positions? Is it true, if you give your shirt away, you have to pay for it? Yeah, that's true, actually, yeah. <laughs> so if we, um, if we hand our shirts out, you know, it's not, it's not the Premier League, you know, there isn't a, an empty... You know, there isn't a load of money down here, you know, we have to we have to pay for it to get replaced, you know, so um, that's why we pick and choose who, who gets the shirts and, uh, yeah, we have to replace. Yeah. Um, who is the most underrated player you've played with? Underrated? Yeah. Question. Um, I think um, maybe Liam Kelly, you know, the captain. I think just because he plays pretty much every game, he's fit and available. And he does a really good job for the team, you know. I think a lot of the stuff he does sort of goes quite unnoticed. Um, and a lot of his work, you know, allows us to be so productive going forward. I think he gives us that sort of, sort of solid base so we can sort of hurt opposition, you know. You know, I think Carl McFadden's been good, um, especially with me and Michael Rose. That he sort of allowed us to sort of play our game and, and focus on defending. You know, and he's sort of made us made us more focused on what we're good at. You know, and um, I think some thing we're good at this year is not losing as well. You know, especially when we can't win, we've drawn quite a lot of games, and that's sort of allowed us to be where we are on the table. So, especially you know, not losing is a big thing for a team that wants to do well. Yeah. Do you practice every day? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, not every day. No, I think five or six times a week. You know, one one day off is quite good to have, just to sort of relax and um, and see your friends and family. You know, uh, but yeah, most of the time practicing and training. Yeah. Do you play FIFA? Do I play FIFA? No, I, I, it's, it's a constant embarrassment of mine that I cannot play FIFA. I'm so bad. I know. It's um, all my mates who aren't footballers beat me, so that's how bad I am at FIFA. But um, I know a lot of the lads do play FIFA, but I, I'd lose every time, so I don't even bother. <laughs> I don't play Fortnite either, no. no. Do you play Fortnite? Are you good? You'd like to think so. Oh, yeah, four out of ten. <laughs> so the, the players who do play FIFA, they play themselves or they play somebody else? Uh, I think a lot of the players themselves, you know. I think yeah, Jody Jones is quite a keen FIFA player. I think he's spent quite a lot of money on it, actually. So. Always one to talk about it, and he, he 
he likes to think he's the best I think so but I couldn't I couldn't even play against him because I'd just get beat and I'd end up throwing him and stuff so it's it's no point yeah <laughs> really <laughs> really good yeah we uh, we we like to win you know we, uh, we it's always a good feeling after after winning the dressing room we're always sort of playing music and you know it's good to sort of have that sort of good team morale especially if, even if even if things aren't going too well it's good that we know we can count each other you know what I mean and um, yeah especially after wins we like to enjoy them you know you know it's, it's good to win a game of football that's why we're in in the game you know and uh, yeah it's really good at the moment yeah Who's the loudest in the dressing room? The loudest? Uh, again, yeah, you said who was the joker. I think Ben Wilson, just because he's always joking and um, he says some of the most random things, but we've just got to laugh at him because it's him. Uh, but yeah, probably hear more calm and just because uh, it's their, it's their northern, northernness, isn't it? You know, they're, always, they're always saying something or doing something stupid. So. If, you ha- if you had a chance to ask yourself any question, what would you ask? To ask myself any question? To look into the future, to see if we get promoted. Probably, <laughs> that's probably one thing that we all want, you know. So, same with you, yeah. If I had a crystal ball, I could look into that. Uh, yeah, probably to see where we'd be at the start of next season, you know, the first weekend of August, see if we're going to the Championship or League One, you know. So, probably ask myself that. Yeah. Thank you.